So that bolt back there is started. So you see the string on it. That was my, uh, my trick to get it back once it loosened up enough that it fell into the pan, which it did. And I expected it to, and that's fine. I just pulled it out gently with the string, did what I had to do on the oil pump, and now I'm putting it back. And I started the girdle already. It's still loose. I'm not worried about that. So I kept the string on that, of course, and I got a wrench, and it also has strings on it because I'll tell you what, it's really easy to lose them down in the pan. You think you wouldn't, but you could. And then I have a pair of these, hemostat. Um, I think I got these at the flea market. Um, no, they're not for smoking roaches, but uh, I suppose you could use for that if you want here in Oregon, it's legal <laughs> and uh, other places. But no, I use these to hold the bolt. And then um, surprisingly, it found its threads pretty easy. So I held the bolt with it. I brought the bolt in, I held it, and then I used the opened in side of my wrench to start it and then I had to flip it and then do it again. And I did that about 10 times and I realized that, hey, I think it's, I think it's grabbed a thread. So I just reached a finger in this side and a finger in this side and I just started spinning it with my fingers and it's, uh, it's about halfway up now. So what I'm gonna do is, where'd it go? I'm gonna take my X-Acto knife and I'm gonna cut that string off. So I'm gonna lose its lifeline. So I better make sure I'm spinning it the correct way, righty tighty, um, so it doesn't fall into the pan. And then I'm screwed. So it's close enough, it's at least halfway in, and I'm gonna cut that string off. So be right back. Okay, as you can see now, the bolt is free of the string. And when I cut it, a little piece fell down in there. And it's a very shallow pan right there. So I just reached in with the hemostat and grabbed it. And uh, I'm sure you'll be more careful and not let a little piece fall in. Uh, probably would not have been good if it sucked up into the pump. So I'm glad I got it out. It was only right there, I mean. You can see the bottom of the pan, so that was really easy to get with the hemostat. You could have probably got it out with your finger too. So I'm just going to tighten that bolt up, tighten the girdle up. Why isn't this thing focusing? I don't know. And then I'll be done with the oil pump. Then I get to put the pan on. Oh, what fun. All right, another one done. So that is an Allen head and it comes with that girdle. The reason I chose that over just, I don't know, using this, which came out of somewhere, I don't remember right now. It, uh, it has a little more thread bite where this one doesn't. It's missing the threads on the tip and it's the same length as that, so I wanted to get a little more thread out of it since I'm losing some through this portion of the girdle. So I went ahead and used that, but I did have to find an old Allen key and just chop it down a little bit so I wasn't rubbing on my seal for the oil pan. And then that one, I just used an opened in and tightened it up. Um, there's no way of torquing that, not where it's at. So, uh, good and tight. Don't strip it. And that's done. Uh, next trip is putting the oil pan on. That's going to be loads of fun. Um, so we'll talk to you next time. And thanks for stopping by my channel once again. Have a good night.